It's the final love song. Hey guys, and welcome to our first episode for Island 2 and A. We are your hosts, Anissa and Robbie. We're so glad to have you here. If you are new to our podcast, we review a lot of survival shows, mainly for females. We did Boys Planet, but I think that was a special occasion. <laughs> uh, that being said, we are here and we're happy to bring you a c- collective uh, review for episodes one and two. These are our opinions. So, if you have any opinions that differ from us, please put them in the comments below. That being said, Anissa, how did you feel about Island 2 and A, uh, episode 1 and 2 so far? Um, It's very different. So I'm just looking forward to the progression of this show, I guess. Yeah. Because, you know, we're used to watching the produce shows and it's mm-hmm. very straightforward. The fans yeah. vote for you. And yes, you can get extra votes. But ultimately, it's just the fans who decide who's going to make the lineup. Mm-hmm. you know so i'm just like right. okay this one's a little bit different because the girls have their own little voting going on during right. the show too so it you know what maybe this is what i've been asking for without... that's what i was thinking <laughs> like when i was watching especially episode two i was like this show was made for robbie because before when we were watching pros japan you were like oh we need like survivor and the girls eliminate each other and blah 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 and i'm just like i think this show is kind of not exactly what she needed but it's no, leaning it's, more towards that right it's very big brother to me it's kind of giving yeah. big brother and yeah. I feel like if I watch Island One, I would have like known what I got myself into. But I was like, these boys aren't musty, and I don't want anything to do with them. But yet I stream their Pokemon songs, so whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do you have a top? I don't know how many girls are getting in. Someone said twelve. Someone says nine. Someone says seven. You know. Mm-hmm. But what I do know is everyone's lineup that I see, it isn't my lineup. So I'm just Ooh. always like, every on Twitter, it's like, I want this one and this one and don't forget about this girl. And I'm like, yeah. You know what I will say? There's always one girl that will never not be in anyone's lineup because we're all yep. not delusional. Yep. We're all not delusional. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's not like it's not like the other seas, other shows where I'm like, no, I don't want the number one girl because her rump, her rump. No, we all, it's like, okay, we all are very well aware that she's getting in. If they don't, if if they do not put her in, they are not, I, I think it'd be a very unwise choice. But I'll let you go first. Mm-hmm. So here's my current top. I only have top three right now. As You, you know what? And I would be have, honest. If without soul, yeah, these two are are who I want in in mind. That's what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> but, okay. So earlier when I was messaging you, and I was like, you know how in Produce Japan you were like, I like Sakura, and mm-hmm. I don't care who else gets in. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel about this show. I'm like, I like Jungin, and I liked yep. her since I saw the theme song with her little ponytail up and then throughout the show i'm just like i like her face i like her voice mm-hmm. i like the way mm-hmm. she dances it's very clean her dancing mm-hmm. isn't like crazy amazing it does but it's not have to be very clean it's very yeah. clean you know what makes up for it it's the fact that i'm just gonna tag on because we're on the same vibe yeah she is the you guys can be mad if you want to i don't care she's the only singer on this show okay mm-hmm. she's the I'm, only singer uh, see I was a little bit, I was looking forward to some of the other singers on her team, like when they did the signal song challenge. And it's like, they all let me down. So I was like, all right, all right. Well, <laughs> After I watched episode episode one and two, I was like, she's, she's my one pick. And I don't care who all else gets in. I mean, I do like my, you know, and then I oh, do yeah, like- Oh yeah, no, she's soul. a visual. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she gives, she gives. Yes. With, and she she's... said like, respect to her because she was like, oh, I have like part 12, which is nothing. Yeah, yeah. And she still ate her part, so. No, she just kind of ate. She And all she did was like a little shoulder movement and exactly. like sang her line. And they're like, yeah, this is, these are the kind of, and she's not even crunch. She's just, she is like a very idol. When I think idol performer, mm-hmm. that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, Soul is one of those girls where I'm like, who are you? I know you like her though. Yeah. So Soul, if I remember <clears throat> right, so because I'm still trying to learn everyone's name, so I might be mixing mm-hmm. some things up. So Soul yeah. was um in Cake Group. Okay. And I believe she was the one who started the song Cake, 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 Cake. Yeah. You know, and her voice was like, I mean, they did it as a group, but like she started the song really good. Mm-hmm. And even though Cake started to like fall off towards the end, I liked 
her performance, what she did. and I liked her voice. So I was like, okay, I want to see what she's going to do. And like later in episode two, they kicked her out of Island just for her to be promoted back to Island. I was like, y'all should have never kicked her out in the first place because, Drama. It's just I mean, a drama. exactly. Yeah. But I'm just like, these are my top three, but realistically, it's top two. And like, really, really realistically, it's my top one. And I, I'm okay with that. I'm just like, Okay. yeah. Our top two are the same. Oh, really? This is a this is the first time. Wow. Our top two is literally the same. I was like, The exact same. exact same. Exact Wow. same. Exact same. Which tells me this. Yeah. We just want it to work this time. Yeah. We're not like we see there's so there's only 24 girls. Mm -hmm. So it's very obvious to see, like, okay, these need to get in. Da, 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 da. The only thing that differs. is my four no sorry i have i have two more for my like to make it top four and i have an honorable mention nana who did cake that Mm -hmm. you want the crunchy one heck yeah i want her in here yes because that was what's missing in kepler it was like uh-uh we need flavor you know nana's gonna give it on the on the um those uh you know Day in the life shows, those variety shows. She's 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 gonna give. And don't fly a girly from Japan just for her to go home first. And it gets me, she gets zero screen time, which is super scary. Because I'm Is like, she what the was the same point? one who was in Produce Japan, or is that a different Japanese No, girl? she's the exact same one from Produce Japan. Oh, to be honest, I didn't care for her that much in Produce Japan. And then Neither even did on this I. show, I'm like, she's she's okay. It's like she's No. not entertaining enough to me. I think this is mm, it. It didn't happen. This is just my fantasy, so I can say it Yeah. because we're. I wish this is episode three, which we're not reviewing, but just I'm just gonna say it. I wish Yeah. she was in the Panorama team for episode three. There was a part meant for her. And Jung, she just we're not getting into it, but if Nana sung Nako's part. it would have been a turning point for her because she has that voice. That's why I keep singing that part before we got on recording. Cause I'm like, she Yeah. needed to sing the, come on, honey, baby, put your eyes on me. That's her part. I feel like that would fit her, yeah. Yeah. And Because you know Nako what? had, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the little teaser that you're giving me is making me curious now. I'm looking forward to watching episode three. Cause, yeah. Cause that, that would have been her part. Mm-hmm. That would have been her part, and everyone would have been like, "Yeah, you, your voice fit that." And it's like, of course it fits it because she's singing Nako's part, and they got that high nasal thing going on. Give the parts to the people that can excel in them. Don't give all the song to one girl. We not episode three review, Mm. I but mean, yeah. I feel like that's well, yeah, it's not episode three, but just in general for these survival Mm hmm. shows, I think it, the problem is that just because you're a vocalist doesn't mean you can sing every song and you can sing every way and this and that. Like recently, I was thinking about Baby Monster, and Oh yeah, they sing them like they on Coachella. yeah, which is fine for that song and that vibe, right? but. One of the problems, which this is like just a baby monster fandom thingy, but Ayun was added later to the group. Well, she's always Right. been in the group, but She she then she didn't. was like, I don't know about that, and then then like she, um batter up happened. And they were like, mm, we need you back, and she's like, I. Right. Yeah, so they gave her like one or two lines and batter up, and Mm -hmm. like all the girls are singing in falsetto, and then Mm Ayun randomly comes in with like a really full voice, and it -hmm. kind Yes, of like messes up the song, the vibe. even though her Mm voice is wonderful, but just -hmm. Right. not for that. So I get exactly You, what you mean. It's like you're a vocalist, but we you need to be used in the right spots. You know right, what I mean? and you said exactly what my note was. What? <laughs> I, again, it's not an episode three review, but Jung Un was like singing that part in full voice, and I'm like, but I need my nasal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me get this out the screen. <laughs> oh no, I wasn't done. You, you Oh, keep sorry. the note. It's okay. Um, and I just want to like say the next. So Nana's my number three. And my number four, which is a beautiful crunch, crunch queen, is uh, Yeetan, who leveled up in episode three, but we're not there yet. But she's so pretty. And I'm just going to, little spoiler, when the judges were like, girl, do you want to be an idol? How the heck did you get into Island? What is this? And she was like, well, I have a lot of fun with singing and dancing. And I said, girl, 
it's gonna be a tough ride. And then she like got her notes right. And then yeah. not only that, she like cut bangs in her hair and got Ooh. it like nice brown and she changed her whole vibe. And I was like, this yeah. is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is this is this is a game. So you're this top is- right now. You have the two talents and then the two crunch. But you mm, it's getting more screen time than Nana. So I oh. of course see her like lasting. Mm-hmm. And then my honorable mention is Fuko, who is a good mm. singer. She was on Girls Planet. Everyone's backing her. Like, J- Jungan needs someone else to take some lines when she's tired of singing. So that could be Fuko's job. That's normal. Yeah, especially, like, I mean, if you're a soloist, you'll be used to singing the songs. But in groups, yeah. like, you should utilize the members so that you can right. rest. It, yes. And sound good, was, like, consistently. Exactly. But while I want, Nana is, a like, I want her to have a Sohei arc so bad. Mm-hmm. So bad. And she's not the bottom of the support ladder, so she might have a chance. I want her to have so bad. But my my like two I need are my and Jungin. And everybody and, and mm-hmm. honestly, there's so many girls that like I'm just like, who are you? Who what? okay. You it's it. kind of funny because I feel like when there's more girls, yes. like a hundred girls, yes. I remember more girls. Yes. But now it's less girls. So now I'm just like, okay. I, I don't know. I feel like I kind of know them, but nothing's sticking in my head as much it hurt as because like, all of them have the black hair. All of them have the, I think that's why, because I, I, I think they might've been doing that to be fair. And this show, they probably right. told all the girls like, don't do anything crazy because we want it to be consistent. Right. Versus I, like the I, produce shows, there's blondes they, and pinks mm-hmm. and sexy dance and this and that. <laughs> so much personality. And I feel like these girls are all on the same tip of, we just got out of high school, y'all. We just mm-hmm. trying to sort it out. We're just trying to make it happen, Captain. So it's just like, okay, I don't know. But <laughs> that being said, those are my my like people I have an eye on. So should we just... Uh, let's let me just first talk about the vibe of where this group should be going in because mm-hmm. wake one made an article or made a whole statement how they're saying we want to be a part of this top four we want to be a part of the the, the high... big four yes they made a whole statement no. you can look it you up. can't just say it and no, no no they want they they made a whole thing i had to translate it and i was like bruh this is too long to read but it was basically like we want in and i'm like then be better yeah then be better the thing about those companies is that it's is they don't just have one hit group they built Mm -hmm. up families and generations of big Mm -hmm. groups hive is different because they just kind of exploded and then now they yeah they're buying these tiny companies and like debuting a bunch of groups but like sm jyp yg like they have multiple household names under right. them you know what right. i mean and that's All why of... people oh sorry go ahead sorry just the last thing i was gonna add is that's no, why people try to like say oh this company is gonna join them and this one like i remember back in the day people used to say oh cube was gonna be part of the big four because they had hyena and four minute who were like starting they, they, to they, rise they just had hyena i think around the same time pentagon was also getting kind of big right. and they technically had beast who changed the yeah. highlight so they had a few but then all those groups started to fall apart. And it's like, okay, see, this is why you can't just take the title because it's about how do you sustain in the long run. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about Cube real quick because that that was my era. Mm-hmm. A lot of companies, small or or semi large, whatever, was prospering in second gen because second gen it just different time, right? Like you could have a girls' generation and a Kara and an after school and a tiara, and they could all do their own thing, and everyone could eat because each girl or each thing was doing their own thing. Like no one was trying to be the same. That kind of happened in the two point five three generation, mm-hmm. where everyone was trying to keep up with the Joneses. But like after school was tap dancing, no one else was tap dancing. Yep. Tiara was sounding like Britney Spears. No one else in Korea, because they were all getting the Britney Spears reject songs. But that was a great album. Oh, yeah. great album. Great album, man. Bopey, Bopey, come on now. But that being said, Cube just dropped the ball because they just didn't have proper management. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to tell Wake One what to do. I'm just going to say, hire me and I'll help you. Like, I'll help you. I know what we need to do. 
But what I will say, the the nugget I'll give you is that Sam Smith cover dance heels thing that some of the girls did mm -hmm. is the direction they should be going in. Mm -hmm. I'm fearful they're trying. We don't need another baby monster. We don't need another black pink. I'm so tired. Like that's partially why um, when we read the rumor that the group was going to be 12 members, yeah. I was like, that would be perfect, actually, because there's no one in the market in right now with a big yeah. group. I mean, yeah. only triple S, but I feel like that's a like, huge thing. group. That's like yeah. something separate versus like larger groups, like 10 to 12 members. There's no one doing that right now, but I don't know. We'll see. I think that like R&B sleep kind mm -hmm. of thing no one is in that space. And I, I don't understand what, you know, what was crazy. And it's so is being in a K-pop this world for over 13 something years at this point for me. Um, it's crazy how second gen was like, we'll just see what sticks. We'll just do like, everything was like, okay, no one, well, let's make a group of models and see how that works. And then you got nine muses. Okay, well, okay, let us, you know, we're going to get a group of uh, overweight singers and then you get a piggy dolls or you, you know, okay, let's get these, these really young girls and try and see how that works and you get a girl's day. But then one girl's 30 years old, but no one said anything about that. <laughs> I, I loved it's... her for that. Like. Gen 2, that reminds me of What's Up 2. They're like, our concept is twerking. And I was yeah, like, we're gonna it, shake you know what? Rear. It was interesting because they they went viral for that. You right. know, it gave them, it, like, people know them. Right. Enough people knew them, at least at that time. Yeah. But like, I'm just like, back then there were more gimmicks. But now right. I feel like a lot of groups, I don't know if that's what you were trying to say, but it feels like a lot of groups it, now are it, too it was, following the trends. Right. But it, I don't know if it was a gimmick or that was just their thing i think they found a niche and like yeah, let's see how yeah. that works and i feel now but let's but re let's be real that's how I, this is how i one work they found a niche mm -hmm. that no one was filling and they stayed strong in it that takes artistic integrity and even girls like eily one they are like well no one's doing innocent okay yeah but I think at this point, no one's doing innocent because it's not marketable right now. So if you're going to do that, make it fresh. Make it something. You got. That's what I was thing. just thinking. You like you have to make it fresh. Reinvent that because nothing is original. Everything's mm -hmm. kind of been done before. So it's taking those elements and making something new with it. I think if they went techno with it or something, something that's out of the box. That is how you do it. Yeah. So, and, and the thing where I bring up, I don't want another Black Pinker, because I lived through it. 2019 was boring. Everyone was in that lane, the Everglows, the, uh, all of them. It's just so boring now, which is why, like, <laughs> which is why uh, New Jeans is so successful, because they came out and cut that that movement, and God bless them for it. That being said, and bringing it back to Eileen One, it's scary because Teddy and all these people are involved. Now, the thing that makes me feel hopeful is because they're covering songs that aren't just that thing. Mm -hmm. But how they introduced the show with all these pre-stages and them covering Blackpink and Missy Elliott, which I love Missy Elliott. I just didn't like that song. Um, it's like, are we just going to make another, you know, hip hop angsty girl group, which we don't need another one? But what gave me a little bit of hope was seeing that sleek heels. And I'm like, girl, all y'all 17, y'all don't know nothing about this. Uh, <laughs> so shout out to the creative directors and the, and the whole team that got that performance and stage together and the girls. But that is the direction I think they should go. And jung -un singing and Mai giving face and Nana doing her best. I mean, that would be great. I felt like I went on a tangent, but I had to get it out there. Yeah. I was so tired yeah. of it. And then seeing the perfect love song, the, the final love song or whatever, as the signal song, I'm like, y'all could have done something else with this reject Rosé song. I just didn't need it. I just yeah. didn't need it. The more that I heard the signal song, the more that I like it. I mean, the song isn't bad on its own. No, no, no. It's no. just... For this, Not for this show, project. it's just, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, they could have went I, with the more traditional style signal song, I think. Honestly, I don't even need something traditional. I just feel like this, 
that song was her song that just didn't get released and then they repackaged it or something. Yeah. That, that's not, you know, true. I don't know what, what the story is behind it, but it just feels yeah. misplaced. Also, that maybe means, because I'm two episodes behind, but no, like... You're uh, only one right now. Oh, okay. So just one episode. But like on the Signal song, if I remember right, it's all Rosé's voice, but on episode two, like the girls were singing. So I'm just like, is this yeah. their song or so, not? You know? Okay. So the music video... Yeah, it was Rose's vocals, but the exactly. challenge, the mission, they all got parts. So why not just have them? Sing? Because ain't nobody got time. All right, I guess they they're, they're like we don't know who. I, I'm hypothesizing here. They're like we don't know what kind of girls we're getting. So Rose, you hit this real quick. Get in the booth. The song is already ready. Right? I guess it's just from my perspective, I'm just like just release a version of the song with the girls so they can get paid, you know? True, but also no signal song ever has any of the girls singing ever. That's true. It's, and like, to be fair, Are You Next Girls didn't even get to, I don't I don't remember them doing anything that, that Susie sung that song. Oh, the, right. Hey, get that up, was I want to see song. the sun now. It's me, we're going to ah, have some fun now. That song, yeah. and they don't have English lyrics, so pay me hype. Um, they never covered it. They just had the girls walking around in like, you know, clean sportswear. I see. I see. So the fact that Island Two Girls did something with it, I kind of like. Okay. Okay. I and see. Island One had someone else singing their song. I don't know what the heck. Yeah, it was IU. So and now you know they didn't do anything with uh, that. Song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so with that said, I But think I think they, that's okay because yeah, IU yeah. She's a great singer. Right. Exactly. <laughs> she probably hit that five note change. <laughs> I don't know what they did. Right. So the fact that they worked it into the challenge, I thought that was unique, you know, and shout out to Jungun again. It's so funny. We like skipped over episode one. This is a casual conversation, episode one or two. So we're going to ping back and forth. Just chill, get a snack, you know, Kiki. Um, I love when Jungun was like, okay, I'll be the center and you be the main vocal. And when she said that, I immediately was like, that's not going to work. But you'll find out. That see, <laughs> I that she was one of the ones that I was rooting for because I think it was Jiyun that she said main vocal. But I was like, yeah. okay, this is the thing. Switch Jungun like, is switch. A, is good as a center. Yeah, but for the challenge, she, yeah, for the challenge, she would be better mm -hmm. as the vocalist, which we saw later. But I'm just yes. like, this the fact that the way that she pulled off the main vocal part. Made it look like that was the center part to me. Yes, yes. No, you're right. And that's, that's why what, yes. this reminds me of Girls Planet. I don't know if you remember way back in the day, but I was saying, like in Girls Planet, I think they called the parts like killing parts. And I was like, you can't yeah. just label a part, a random section of dance, the killing part. That's not how yeah. it works. No, it's about <laughs> no. who's executing who's, it. It yes. makes it the killing yes. part. Right. We just said that because Mai did her thing and we were like, that could have been a killing part to us. Mm -hmm. It's about what you do with the part. Exactly. And to me, Jung it, felt like the, the labels center. don't matter. No, they don't. <laughs> Honestly, it's about who sounds good doing what. And who can set the mood properly. Like even right. the chicks like trying tying their shoe shoelaces, you know what I mean? To me, oh, both when of them the failed. dance uh instructor did it on the video, I was like, Oh, she looks really serious. But the two groups who did it, I was like, they look like they're scrambling and oh, okay, right, I got because, it. Like because they over here that pulled it off. To me. They're like, da, 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 da. yeah, it's like, doesn't match the vibe of the song. On no. the dance video, the person who did it, she was like, really like, boom. Taking her mom. Exactly. And she really like hit the leg. Well, I mean, you can't see, but she hit the leg part. And she like really dragged it. Oh, Everyone yeah. Else, because they like scrambled. I don't know how to describe it, but they scrambled and they like tied the knot and then they kicked their legs so hard. I'm just like, just relax a little bit. Just calm down. <laughs> yeah, because those that wasn't for them in mind. And this is the it problem. Yeah. When you have YG or Teddy Black Label, because they have that vibe, and your vibe does not match what these girls' vibe is. I mean, it's their job to be ch chameleons, but it's like, come on. And I'm so proud of Fuko for saying, this song does not fit me. Mm -hmm. She was like, this song does not fit me. I, she's like, I excel well in feminine, lighter, more, you know, colorful things but on the topic of her saying that though sometimes i feel like even if the concept is different than what you're used to you can take your natural concept and charm and, and fit it. yeah make it right fit. you just have it's <clears throat> kind of hard you just have to find a way to make it work you have you know? to kind of do some hypnotizing like for yourself and be like i'm going to just bring what i can and you know yeah. what shout out to the grounders 
because they changed the choreo for the signal song as they should yeah because um the part i don't know who these girls are so y'all can fill in in the blanks but Isn't one the girl ballerina was like, part? yeah she's like not just that part but then the girl's like she's like my my uh major is whatever dance and she's mm -hmm. like it might they're like she kicked your leg all the way up sorry i moved the microphone away from <laughs> my mouth but she cooked her she kicked your leg all the way up and i yeah. was like great do that and then the other girl was a ballerina and she was like i was like yeah do that like change what you need to change because and at the and you know what i feel like the grounders felt like we're already at the bottom there's nothing to lose yeah yeah and i think one of the producers i think producer 24 or something like that he mentioned mm -hmm. it and he was like listen you're a singer he i believe he said to the ballerina you're a singer if you mess up your note who cares just give it your all and mess it up and just keep you know what i mean like okay just so the thing is she's a it. dancer no she's but not a singer. no 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 he's not saying she is a singer he's saying if you're an idol Oh yeah, 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 singer. So you right, have right, to right. Sing. Yeah, that's yeah. What that's what he said. I was, I was, like, that's I was absolutely like, it. right. She's she's been struggling, mm -hmm. but the thing is, she just went fearless with it. Mm -hmm. She's like, I I'm just gonna give it what I got, and exactly, I'm just gonna go. And he was like, Yeah, keep doing that. Like he's like, It wasn't good, but it was. You know, we we appreciate hustle. Yeah, and... it's better than running away from the high notes or running away from your your lyrics or, or running away from your part. You know what I mean? Got Ito Mio into a group. <laughs> yep she got to go to los angeles and sing yep she i mean she didn't run away and they're like hey you want to do this and now she's an idol and mildly successful so shout out to that um the i felt like i was more tuned in to the grounders version but the main vocal wasn't as good as jungun so i felt like that pulled me out of their Signal. Yeah, I think I think personally I the the Islanders parts were it was their their section was more entertaining. I just right. didn't like certain people's parts. Like I know they were like hyping up the center, but I she felt like I. she was okay. Yeah, she was yeah. okay, you know. Yeah. I I'll say this because I want to touch on the demo stages. Um when they did after like, mm -hmm. if honestly, Fuko was great, obviously, but honestly, I'm so tired of people covering I've songs, especially after like and Love Dive. I feel like those songs I only want to see from the group itself. Really? Yeah. I you know what I wish they did? The um I don't remember the name of the song, but you're gonna know what I'm talking about. It kind of feels like they have two can Sam going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. No, I it's don't like know that it's song. my time. Odo oh, do oh, oh, yeah. that's my vibe. Finished. Oh, that's my vibe. All right, don't think too much because I'm gonna have to cut it because it <laughs> picks up on vocal oh, covers shit. as a cover of the song. Yeah, I'm not a great vocalist <laughs> at all. It doesn't so. matter. YouTube is really good at picking up on the oh, like the melodies. Yes, yes, you said shut up, Robert. Yeah, I was like don't sing too much. Not too much. No. <laughs> they cannot have that at all. You, you. You said you think you're sent. No, this is not the. This is not American Idol. But that song, it would it would kind of be slay. That's why I like when they did Panorama because I'm like ah, finally, mm -hmm. no more Fiesta. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, we're free from Fiesta. <laughs> to be fair, off topic, but on topic. Why do they not cover Lavi and Rose? That is the easiest of Eyes One songs to sing. I think the reason why is because they want songs that it's expensive will showcase them. You know. I showcase them properly or if you're not talented then it will showcase your weaknesses so it's just good for television they're you know just like I mean? you know what we're going for it panorama which i feel is harder it is well and i think it, that i think that's partially why we always see i've because i think people underestimate how difficult the choreo is for love dive and uh, oh yeah that's why is. i've never learned any i've songs because it like <laughs> when uh one two three four sorry 11 <laughs> <laughs> i was like everyone's on different beats with that hip movement everyone hasn't it's like we're all doing shakira um mm -hmm. that they get you together like they get you together but what even though i don't prefer seeing covers of it because it's all everywhere 
Fuka was great. Mm -hmm. Cake Nana was crunchy as ever. I don't know what went wrong with Cake. Like <laughs> they started out so good, and I was like, oh, like this. Like I, they always call the other group the Avengers group, and I'm like, this is a good group. And then they were just like falling off. I'm just like, okay. It, one's never girlfriend mind. said, "Baby," I said, "It's done. It's the wrap." They you all know needed to treat her like how with... Yurina treated her group yes. in Girls Planet demo. And she was like, yeah. okay, you all sound bad, but I'm going to slay my part. They all should have done that to her. Like, okay. They did. You, did you, no one even bad an eyelash. They were like, <laughs> they, just, they were, they were like, well, we're, they said in their mind, whatever you give me, girls, what you give me. This is a solo stage for me. What's crazy is the girl that sang after Nana had the, a very similar vocal quality to her, but got all her notes right. So I'm like, the, the potential was there. No one helped out. Wow. It's like when Lee Guy was doing, um, <laughs> was doing Change, Baby Box. And I'm mm -hmm. like, no one, none of you guys pulled her aside and be like, the choreo is this. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Lee Guy, we know you're great as a vocalist, but the dance is lacking. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, they tried, but they, she I don't think they did. I think they're like, we're just going to, like, how y'all going to let mama turn around on the wrong side of the stage? How y'all, everyone's hitting those, like, everyone hit those fists and she's on another fist. Mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all couldn't have pulled her aside and been like, look, we'll keep your secret, but we got to get you right. Mm -hmm. We don't care. We like you, but we mm -hmm. need to make this stage work. That's how but, I feel with Nana. They're like, okay, you are on the wrong note every time. Yeah, she needs a like just a lot of a lot of training. Do you what know I if they have oh, coaches, sorry. like vocal coaches, dance coaches? No, it this seems show? like this just the girls sorting it out themselves. See, I don't like that. That's what I like no, about I Produce Japan because they're like, okay, we know that a lot of people hate when K-pop fans say that Japanese girls can't sing, but the expectations are just different. So that's just what it is. And yeah. Produce Japan recognizes that, so they actually have the coaches help them pretty frequently right. on these shows. Right. I feel like what's crazy is Nana actually was killing that dance. So I'm like, y'all just got to get her up to par with his vocals. The vocals, yeah. It's possible, because she got herself situated. We're not talking about episode three, but episode three was her turning point. Mm -hmm. She got that together, and she was like, I'm not going home. Let me cut these bangs real quick. Let me get this box down mm -hmm. real quick. I I'm not going home. Y'all got me messed up. I told y'all yeah. like singing and dancing. I'm not. She's like, I've seen things. <laughs> but back to the for the demo stage. Oh, yes. I just want to talk about drama, at least. Briefly, okay, I was saving cause... it for last. Oh. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Jungun, it was Jungun Friends featuring really? that one girl that could sing kind of. Here's the deal. The girl that was singing like alongside Jungun is a great idol singer. And also... I'm going to say this. Y'all going to get so mad at me. She's, Jungin sung that song better than Espa. I'm just going to be honest. She knows. This is when I was telling you, I'm like, there's only one singer on this show. She knows what she's doing with her voice. She had one mess up day, but honestly, when you sing majority of the song, you are allowed. We're not talking about episode three, but that's just what happened. Mm -hmm. But in drama, I didn't even know I was like, is that how Ning Ning and Friends sang that song? Because I don't remember them singing it like that. No, yeah. I don't I wouldn't necessarily say that she was better than Espa. I think that I stand by myself. They brought a very different energy. Okay. And they pulled it off well to the point that they did it just at least just as well, if not better. You know what I mean? Okay. Because okay, I don't want to say like... it's better because to me, Espa, I mean, they're idols. And I felt like this group they sounded like their voices were deeper. Yes. And it felt really mature. So it okay. actually brought a different side to the song. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So it's not, and they did it in a way that's like, it's not worse, but it's just as good, at least just as good as the original. You, you it know? felt, and I'm not trying to buy, it felt like not even an Espa cover. It felt, I'm like, why are they yeah. giving me Luna? Like, I don't know why it took me to a Luna's place. Just maybe the vocal quality, maybe mm. the dance. I don't know what it was. It they when you take me somewhere else, I'm like, okay, that was great. But Jungun and that other chick who I'm so sorry, love. I don't know your name. You all of you guys are super blendable to the wall, except the ones I mentioned. Um 
it's hard I when it's it only Jungun, Jiyun, Mai, and someone, someone with else. another J name, like Jimin, Jimin or something. Oh, something because they're like, yeah, these two girls know what they're doing. These two mm. girls, like it's all in the comments. Or like these girls are the ones. Mm -hmm. But shout out to Jungun because honestly, okay, let's just be frank. I love her face. It, the thing is, I was like, oh, here we go, another musty girl. When she was like, da 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 da. Really. Yeah, she I wasn't was like, giving musty in that song at I, all. The, the fact that she was just doing it, the fact her outfit, it was just, <laughs> it, I was like, I'm done. They're all wearing the same outfit. Yeah, and I was all done. I was done with all of them. I was like, all they right. She already came in mad. She wasn't giving that at all to me. I think that's why it, I liked her so much because she. It, was, it wasn't It was even her fault. It wasn't even any yeah. of that. It was the song. It was the <laughs> dance moves. They're doing you the skeleton. <laughs> I just was like, oh, here we go. Here we go, and you got the boots on and the combat pants. Where are we going next? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like, no, I don't need this. But mm -hmm. when she said, I can't sing it, but I want to, and I don't even know the lyrics, but she was like, mm -mm, da -da 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 -da. I was like, oh, I don't remember a nun, a Ning Ning and Catherine or whoever the other girl that sings in Espa because I only know three of them. Um, uh, what are their names? I know Winter. <laughs> it's I know Karina, Ning -Ning. Winter, Ning, Ning and Giselle. Our, Giselle. Our, yes. She's I called her Catherine. our black sister. Okay. So who's the one that sings? Because I know Ning Ning and they, who's, so who's Karina, the one that thinks she can sing with her? <laughs> so Ning Ning is the main vocalist. And yes. the one that, that they, SM is SM like, pushing. hold on. Ning Ning is Chinese, we can't do that. Is so they're yes. pushing winter because winter. Okay, that's Catherine. The fans to are me. gonna hate me for saying that, but no, that's no, we're, we're real. Feel about no, it. it's true. It's true because yeah, I'm like, yeah. y'all need to just is let... great, but Ning yeah. Ning is just that girl. Let's be real, she's a different. She's a different she's... level. Yeah, when she said, "I want to run," I said, "Yep, mm -hmm. that's it." <laughs> <You're> Disney <laughs> <I'm> boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Back to Island. Right. She's going to debut. If she's not number one, I am going to fly to Korea and be like, all right. Where That's are we why doing? I'm saying she's my soccer. Like, it's not enough to debut. I need her to be first place now. Throughout the whole show, I want her rank one everything. I, I cannot say she's my soccer because that was a different beast. That was a different <laughs> energy. Well, you already had your soccer. Okay. But, I was like, so this I, one honestly, is mine. <laughs> Sakura was like my was like the Bahi for there. I was like, she could just come on stage and just say, hey. And I'd be like, she did so well. I know she's so good. That's how I feel looking at Jung and like every time it just flashes to her face and we just see her face reaction and like she's doing her little eye smile with her like eye fat. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, she's so cute. I want to pat her head and be like, good job. My energy is I can't deny her because she's she's it like she's already packaged ready to go like she's the a-class trainee that's like how have you not debuted yet right and what got me was when she sung and everyone was like mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. yeah and then they're like and they were like first place and they were like yeah mm -hmm. yeah and i was like yeah. when no one has any issues yes. with your placement and they don't feel like they should be there that tells you something because mm -hmm. all the other shows are like i feel like i should be number one this show well yes yeah, well deserved i'm like there, that just sets the tone for no one no one is willing to lie and no yeah. one is delusional yeah at least with her position mm -hmm. i feel like this show is going to be like i know you don't watch this but like there's a season of drag race where everyone was like i should have been second place i should have been second place and everyone was like yo second place isn't the winner like second place doesn't get the crown like in this show, of course, you get the debut, but I feel like everyone's going to be fighting Wait, for second. People were and... fighting for second on Drag Race. There was a season when everyone knew that this one chick was, I don't know, was going to win was. like first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was like, there's, yeah, I was like, okay. you know, this chick is the one. And mm -hmm. yeah. And then everyone was like, but you know, I should have been standing beside her. And then, and then someone was like in a confessional, it's like, yo, y'all know that, yo, like, either way, you're not first. <laughs> and I feel like that energy is going to like transition here where it's like, we should have been number two. Because mm -hmm. ain't no way. And I'm just, I already told you this. So this is the only, you already know the spoiler. But again, not see episode three. We're going to get, we're going to dive really deeply in episode three because all the stages were honestly really good. But um, when they're like, girl, you messed up your parts and we don't care. And I was like, real. Yep. That's when you know you're number one. Mm -hmm. 
So I feel like when, and I see her on other people's lists, it's like number five. And I'm like, are we, we're playing this game? I, this is the thing. Like she's very easily at top, at the top. And then mm -hmm. like a gap. Right. A lot of people don't like rooting for, for the, the one that's a clear winner. Exactly. They but, like to root for their other people. So, you know, that's just I like a I like an underdog, but I'm not dumb. Yeah, yeah. That's why Nana is number three for a reason. Mm -hmm. I like Nana. If it if this was if this was any other show, if this was produced, oh Nana would be my number one. And she probably would have a better shot at winning in produce or mm. girls planet well no 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 no, no. it just depends on what other type of crunchy girl she's competing with because i feel like she's just missing a little bit of a charm factor that's why i'm like yeah, really yeah, like her screen time then yeah I'm maybe best. maybe when i see three and four screen time if she how, however it looks on those and things. the thing is we'll never like i'll find out thursday or friday depending on if i wake up early enough to watch it because she's they're holding off the last performance that she's in for episode four Mm. for that and i'm like oh, okay all right mm. i wish they held panorama but they're like no we're gonna save Ua. and you know i'm glad she's in Ua because there's enough japanese girls and twice for her to like embody that image yep yeah i think i said everything i needed to say. oh no i have even more to say oh okay you're gonna because i want to yeah, I want to talk about the survival part and the oh. girls that they kicked out oh, of yes, Island. Yes, and then... when all the like they did their all their stages and then 16 of them went in and I was like, okay, here we go. No, no, no. I mean after they did the signal song and they kicked oh. three girls out of Island. And You're they in episode promoted... two now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Episode two, episode two. Okay, I mean, we've episode... been back and forth the whole time, basically. <laughs> yep. Cause episode one, they're like, all right, 16 of y'all go in. And then they were like, all right, now y'all get to pick who y'all want to keep. And I was like, dang. The ones that they kicked out, I don't remember everyone that they kicked out, but I do remember they kicked out uh, Choi Soul, and she was one of my favorites. And I was like, you shouldn't have kicked her out. I understand why they kicked her out. I believe it, they kicked four girls, and I think three or four of them were like all from Cake. And I'm just like, okay, y'all. It's because after Cake performed, everyone's like, how the hell did they get into Island? But Meanwhile, some other I'm girls didn't. Here. Meanwhile, I'm like, -da 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 -da. I'm like, yeah, girl, yes. go for it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I, I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, we're going to have a hard time getting up into that island dorm because I don't know what we're doing. She needs to figure something out. <laughs> but in episode two, yes. they, so after they did the signal song, right. the girls who got kicked from island is mm -hmm. Fuko, Kim Gyuri, right. and Yoon Ji Yoon. And the ones who were mm -hmm. promoted to, mm -hmm. promoted to island. island. Mm -hmm. Were uh Choi So who should have never got kicked, Nam Yuju, um, who was the center for the, the round one. Mark Jacobs, and Jacobs then... my Mark Jacobs. <laughs> and Kim Min So I'm mm -hmm. like, all right. I already knew this is the thing. I already knew the second that Ji Yoon's mood dropped, and then she was like, Oh, I want part eleven. And Mai was like, Well, I want eleven. And then she got eleven and she was still salty. And then Mai got twelve. And then Mai was like, It's okay. Like, I'm gonna work with what I'm given. In that moment, I knew that if the girls Instant. are voting for who gets to stay, Mai is staying and Ji Yoon is leaving. Because they like he, someone that's but, easy to work with. Yeah. And then not only that, but she did she did her part well and she right. didn't complain about it. And he she kept her attitude up. I'm just like, everyone's yes. voting for you to stay. And she was like number three to stay. I'm surprised she wasn't number mm -hmm. one. I right. mean, number one is Jungun, but <laughs> she's just sitting really careful. The way how Jungun was this giving orders in her bed, I was like, as you should. Because yeah, she was like, don't know. talk to me right now. I'm just like, yep, I know that's right. <laughs> she had her little clipboard. Yes, and like she was really, she put thought into that. But... I was like, man, she, when you know what you're doing and you're teaching other people to do what you already know what to do. Well, she tried her best. They ended up switching all the parts that she did anyway. Oh, I mean, she tried she her tried. best. Yeah. But even after they switched, she still mm -hmm. was leading that. Yep. They switched. And when I saw Jean's attitude, I was like, no one's... First of all, you're not a soloist. You're going to debut in a group. You have to... Yes, she, first, she has a right to be mad and frustrated and all those things. But you need to get over it and start working with your team because you're going to debut in a girl group. That's what the show is about. If no one wants to work with you because you act like this, why are you here? Just she get eliminated. Like, Just go home. She, be a soloist. It's know, a girl. Like you're those, making a girl group. They end up like those girls that were like, they just debuted and they're like, yeah, we're disbanding. We don't like each other. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, I don't know what their names are, but they're like <laughs> yeah. new guru and they're like, we don't like each other. So we're just banding. And I'm yeah. like, all that money and promotion for nothing. nothing. And it's like, these, what this is why groups that like each other end up working out so much better. Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to balance at least multiple different things, like personalities, other personalities, but also your own ego. Like you have mm -hmm. to know when to give and take. And right. that's why I'm just like, someone like Mai is going to take it far because she already has a hardworking attitude. And she right. was like, okay. And she also, she has an ego in the way that's like, I got this part and I know that I can make this part look good no matter what, because wherever I am looks good. She but she doesn't it. have too much she, ego that yeah. she's like, I should have got a better part and blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? No, it's, she it, nened. She said, it doesn't matter what part of the stage I stand on. Even though when she exactly. said that, I was such a hater, but... <laughs> But <laughs> now, now I'm a, such a fan. When she's yes. like, it doesn't matter which part of the stage I stand on, I always shine. I'm like, yep. Okay, T. Yep. But what was her name? Yuju, the one that was center Mark Jacobs by Mark Jacobs? Nam Yuju, the ground, yeah. ground one? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was yeah. like, yeah, she get an in. She was giving me dying on energy. She gave me dying on ice cream cake energy. She, that was, it was this, I was like, I seen that flame before. Yes, yeah. She might debut the way how she was working. She really it, it just depends. It, it depends, depends. On, on how they, you know, survive or eliminate out, you know. But exactly. Yeah. We're we're thinking it's sweet now, but eventually it's gonna be very strategic. And mm -hmm. um and that's why these shows are like a little bit harder. Right. Just to direct to see because it's not like we have a lot of hand in it. We we mm -hmm. tell them who we like and they're like, uh-huh. It's like you make a plan and then the universe laughs. Yep. Yeah, the, this show, you have to be strategic. Right. But I, I appreciated that the first strategy was that um, for everyone in Island, yeah. it, they encourage you to have show preference to stronger teammates rather than, oh, this teammate is strong, then I don't want them here because they're my competitor. You know what right. I mean? And they're also like where they got mad at some of the girls, like they weren't taking care of themselves. They weren't. I didn't were, get, I mean, I get the, the people who were sick, who were like, oh, that's on me. I should take care of myself. I get that. But I don't get it as an outsider. So you're looking at someone saying you should have took care of yourself. To me, that's weird because I'm just like, well, okay. I feel like they're like, you know, you're sick and you're around us and you should be oh. managing. That's how I took it. Like, I see, I you see. know, we, if we all go down, then who's going to perform kind of thing. Like, that makes you should more be sense. individually training and then checking in like peri periodically to make sure you're good. But I like, I don't know. Cause and it's, and also while we don't know the training situation, these girls probably were training during COVID time. So mm. they, we might not know, but they probably already have a protocol for how that works. Mm. And if I were like, yo, you're not doing what we already like even that was training. Like wear your mask. Like I remember, I think y'all can correct me. But they're like, you know, you should be wearing your mask. You should be drinking your this. You should be doing your that. Like they already kind of know the steps on how to like behave. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all, with, when multiple girls are saying like, oh, they weren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. And that's why things ended up the way it did. Like they ha when more than like about three people say something, it's like, okay, there's some truth here. Yeah. Okay. I get it now. Okay. I think I like kind of misunderstood it. the situation. I see. That makes more sense. But also like they're right though. Like if you aren't getting enough sleep, if you aren't drinking enough liquids, if you aren't doing mm -hmm. your stuff, if you're not taking care of yourself and then you in turn get sick or you in turn blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, they say stretch to make sure you don't hurt yourself and you don't do those things and it happens and it hinders the team. Mm -hmm. Then it's just like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry that happened, but also we warned you or also we told you or like, mm -hmm. you know, yep. now this girl has to take your part. Now this, now it changes the formation. Now, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, so that's how, that's how I perceived it. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I guess before we leave, do you have any comments on uh, maybe the stages that we haven't talked about? Because I we didn't talk about much of Unforgiven or Af or a Sweet yeah. Venom or Baggy Jeans. Honestly, I'm so tired of them. Choo okay, <clears throat> if you're gonna pitch down Panorama, pitch up those boy group songs, or pitch it to a where they can sing it. I'm like, why are they singing in falsetto? Where 
I, I don't know. I felt like they only covered in hyphen cuts of that island. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't know sure. that many N hyphen songs, but I was, I don't know. I was hoping I, there might be a better one, unless that one's a popular one. I don't know. You know, there are a lot of boy group songs that pair well for girls. I would have loved for them to do ZB1's, uh, oh, 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 da, da, oh. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. and like, and then I would also love for them to have done, uh, got seven uh, lullaby. Cause that's just male fiesta, mm. but um, there's a lot of great male songs, and I'm kind of tired of them putting these girls into these like urban swaggy. I'm like, okay, we're great, mm. yeah, that's cool, but but I feel like the girls who did baggy jeans actually pulled it off really well. They, they did really. I well. thought they did, but then like the judges were like, ah, oh, I need to have more swag, more this, more that. And I'm like, they are 17 year old. Was that girls. the group who had like mostly dancers? And I think it was Monica, one of the dance judges. And they were like, oh, I expected more because you're a dancer. Yeah. But also like, just cause you're a dancer, I mean, they're giving their vibe based off their experience in life. And like, you guys yeah. have a different vibe. You're, like you, this girl's just graduated high school. I mean, it's uh, eh, like, what are you expecting? I'm like, that's why I'm like, if you pair the songs well, like I know licensing and whatever, whatever, I get that. And they want to show a different variety. I get that. But if it was up to me, these girls would be singing Vix's Shingra-La or something. Like mm. some grandiose songs that kind of would pair well. Like any gender would do well in this song. Mm -hmm. And like baggy jeans, I'm like, okay, cool. But also that song is so inertly like, masculine to me mm. so how would they bring that energy of course you're going to get like a teen crush version mm. i guess that's why i liked it and why i felt like they executed it well yeah but yeah i agree with you that there's probably better song choices i think so yeah uh, i mean I, don't know. I mean, like, for example, I feel like Voice Planet got it right with those female songs they were covering. Like, yeah. Jesse, uh, Zoom In, Zoom Out. I mean, they made it into their own thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, also considering the members they had, of course, it would have come out that way. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's kind of how I feel about it. So that was Baggy Jeans and mm -hmm. Sweet Venom. I just didn't like the song. So I didn't, I didn't like hearing them cover it. It just felt like there's a lot of really great songs to cover and a lot of, it doesn't showcase. I mean, honestly, I don't even like the original version. Mm. I might have to give that song and that stage another listen. It just feels like they, it was a song that wasn't showcasing anything that the girls could really do. Mm -hmm. It felt like pure concept, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is fine. But like, it's also unfair when you have like drama and you have like, uh love dive which again not love dive that was after like after like yeah taking my personal opinions out of it again can show whether you can sing and do all of that stuff um i didn't like again i don't think any itsy song should be covered on any it i <laughs> it, think it depends it, it, unless it's like dollar dollar or like maybe icy or i think wannabe is uh, a really good song to cover yes that'll also show whether you can dance or not, or whether you can hold. Wannabe like, has have... everything. That's probably yes. the best Itzy song to cover because it has they... the vocals, dance, rap, never talk, singing. You know what? Why didn't they do put my sneakers on? Nana would have ate that all the way up. She would have put my. Oh wait a minute, that was sabotage. If they don't do cake, do sneakers. She would have ate that up. She would have ate that up. Now I'm upset. I'm gonna write. A... I'm gonna petition. I'm going out. I'm going to go outside the uh, Mnet and petition. But anyway, mm -hmm. that's all I kind of have to say. Now I'm spiraling. <laughs> and yeah. I'm proud of us. We didn't mention that group. Yeah, I was thinking about it. But then I was like, let me not. We'll save it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I guess that's all. I mean, we're basically playing catch up because, yeah. Well, I should say that I'm sorry, guys, because we're behind because I was like super busy all of April. So now we're like catching up on all these episodes. But I think after next week's episode when we talk about three and four then we'll go back to weekly and then it'll be fine it's okay we're, yeah we're, we're we're getting back to the swing of it and you know yeah. after 
what was the last show we watched? Produce Japan. Mm-hmm. You know, we had to recharge and, and regroup and refocus. But we are back. We're so excited to be talking about Island. It's a different show for us, but we're really excited for, you know, where this goes. And let us know in the comments what, so far, without, you know, you can talk about episode three if you want to, but please, no spoilers, because Anissa's going to watch it. But... With that said, like with your with your already no knowledge, who do you want in the group? Who are your top who are your top three? And who are you your like top three and your two hopefuls? So your top five, I suppose. Cause it's gonna change. And these girls are gonna be more strategic. And I think the voting system's gonna get really interesting. Mm-hmm. And we still don't know the actual final lineup, right? The amount of members. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. And I'll see if I can get information on that then. Because I feel like people are like saying if it's nine, if it's seven, and I'm like, it should just be twelve. Like honestly, twelve. Or it's... like eleven. If you want like a center, eleven is good. Uh, yeah, but I think it will be to have half of them make it, half of them don't. It's kind of like a a moment. Yeah. We'll that see. sucks. But it's yeah. also like only half will continue on. So you have a 50-50 shot. Yeah. So that's how I feel. But I don't know. Okay. Any final thoughts? No, I'm looking forward to the show. I'm looking forward to see the next episodes and the teams who lose and go to ground and then the winning teams <laughs> going to island and how that's going to mix it and up. And someone's getting eliminated. But yeah, one or two people, right? I think they said that's two people. Sad. Sheesh. No, 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 no. We need more no, no. I, I guess we'll be, see. It'd be so sad. She flew all the way from Japan. Gave us You're cake. saying all the way from Japan? Isn't the flight like an hour? To, it's Yeah, but we're still. It's, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she had to pack a bag. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, you know, she's in a new place. Yeah. She can't just hop, 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 skip and jump to where she wants to be. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyway. That's <laughs> all. That's all. So hopefully you had fun um, listening to us. And please comment in the, you know, please interact with us in the comments below. We will be, you know, responding. And we're so happy to be back. So until next time, bye-bye. I guess, what are we doing now? I have no no idea. We'll figure it out. Man, that song's so uniconic. Something so uniconic. All right, guys. (laughs) Bye-bye.